In the drill tower, we are tested to be under 60 seconds. Probably like 65, 70 pounds. And then we're off to work. I'm Chris Lorno, and I make $91,000 a year as a female firefighter for a living. I became a female firefighter out of curiosity. I was presented the idea in 2019 when I was approached by a Los Angeles Fire Department member. They saw me in the gym, they saw me working every day, and they presented the idea. They spoke genuinely about how much they love their job. So curiosity got the best of me, and I decided to apply in 2020 when they opened the process. The Los Angeles Fire Department has over 3,000 members, and females make about 3% of the force. To be one of the over 100 females in the Los Angeles Fire Department, it is a privilege, it is very humbling. When it comes to being able to wear this badge, it's not about just being a female and seeing what I'm capable of doing, but it's there's a little bit of a weight to it because I wanna wear this and represent this department well. So it's a big responsibility, and I know that being a female and for the public to see us on calls, we might be stared at a little bit longer because they're curious as well, and I see it in their faces, but it always makes me feel good when I'm able to go out there and make that impact and make that connection with them, and they're able to see us out there and doing the job. The training to become a firefighter was everything from physical preparation to mental preparation. So I even hired a trainer that works with special forces, military. The amount of stress and endurance that he put me through mentally is really what prepared me for this department because we're pushing through physically a lot of the things that we're doing because we don't get to stop and take breaks. So I made sure that his training along with my physical training in the gym prepared me mentally and physically. And then emotionally, I spoke to other firefighters they were really a good resource for me to reach out and say, what do I need to do? How do I need to be prepared? So they were able to speak to me and giving me tools and tips to be prepared for the drill tower outside of the physical training that I was doing. As a Los Angeles firefighter, when you get hired, you start at $78,000. And as you move through time and training, you can actually make $138,000 in that rank. The opportunity to work overtime and stay holidays, there's a lot of benefits because it adds to your paychecks. So as much as I say this is what I make as my salary, we can take home a lot more through keeping resources open, the engines running, the ambulances open, you have the potential to make a lot more money. So we have three platoons, A, B, and C shift. We do work 24 hour shifts. It will be a five day period, three of those days with 24 hours off in between. And then after those three days of the five day period, we then get four days off. A typical day at the fire station starts at 6.30 in the morning. So we're walking in, we're getting our stuff ready. That includes going to, whether it's the engine, the truck, the ambulances, everything is accounted for because any second we can get a call, we have to be out the door and we need to be prepared. And then throughout the day we work on projects, whether it's cleaning the tools, changing out hose. There's always something to work on to improve the station, something for training that we can improve ourselves, and then the little amount of time that we get to ourselves outside of calls, we try to be able to just create those bonds. It could be something like watching a little bit of a movie, or one of our favorites is just to have a fire pit where we can all sit around and share stories and just relax. So a full 24 hours is quite eventful, but we always try to find time for ourselves so that we can have those moments uh, as a crew. Living in a fire station, in a male dominant industry, I've so far had nothing but a positive experience. They have been more than welcoming. I can absolutely say I feel like I have grown with 3,000 new big brothers. That was definitely something that I questioned, like am I gonna fit in, are they gonna accept me? But my crews have been nothing but more than you know, welcoming me with open arms. So I've worked with Crystal here for about maybe a year and a half. Uh, she got sent to us, this was her third house. She's my second set of eyes, so if there's something that I don't see or vice versa, I always tell her, hey, speak up and let me know, because if we're on the 800 together, that's when we need to be there for each other and watch for each other's back, so. Nothing that she isn't eager to learn, and she's just so respectful. She has the desire to want to learn and uh, the compassion to, to help others in, in hard situations. On the job, I do not wear makeup, but I do like to get my eyelashes done. That's kind of my way of like still feeling that feminine energy because I am a female and 
I embrace being able to be a female and bring that uniqueness to a department while still being able to be that strong individual that I have become. So the, the eyelashes are like my one little thing. I also, you can't wear makeup and put a face piece on and be sweating in a burning building because it just all gets in your eyes. So this is my one little way of having that little feminine touch. So time is of the essence with us. We are trained to be fast. The most important part of our job is the response to calls. It could be a structure fire, it could be a medical call. The response of us getting to our gear, getting to our supplies, and getting out the door. We always have to be prepared. I could be in the shower, I could be cooking lunch, it doesn't matter. The priority is to getting to those calls to the public because they're calling us out of distress. That's why we train so hard and we prepare as much as we do so that when we come to these emergencies, we're ready for it. And we're off to work. <laughs> Every call we go to is always different from the last one. I can go to 100 traffic accidents or, you know, my 10th or 15th or 20th structure fire. I'm proud of all of them because each one is challenging. Each one is unique. They're never the same. But I would say the ones that I'm most proud of is when I actually have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with people. One of the calls that I really didn't understand the impact on until the next day when a mother and a really young daughter, maybe eight years old, came by the station. They were in a traffic accident my previous shift and the mother said the little girl was so scared but when she saw me she felt comfort. So they brought cupcakes and she wanted to just say thank you. So for me to see her and see her smile and she said she wanted to be a female firefighter, that was it for me. That's where I knew I was able to make an impact even if it's just that small that meant the world to me. On the days that I do have off, I set my alarm clock for five o'clock and I usually wake up on my own at four o'clock. So I start at 4.30, usually I run my dogs, we get some cardio in, and I go right to the gym. That's like my me time. All that energy we absorb, especially now in our career, the gym allows me to kind of take it out one rep at a time and recycling it in a very positive way. When it comes to nutrition, which is probably one of my biggest passions, like my endurance, the way I feel, my energy levels, the way that I'm able to handle things is because of how I take care of my body. So I grew that passion for nutrition, that's something I share. And then I've also just learned about food. Like the amount of information out there that we can self-educate has allowed me to kind of become the, the athlete that I am. And I don't believe that there's one way to do it, but for me at least, if I'm gonna be the best version of myself, in, on, or off the job, then it starts with taking care of myself. For those that only think that being a firefighter is for men, I can tell you that there are over 100 women on the Los Angeles Fire Department that are proving you wrong. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, someone that is calling in an emergency wants someone that is competent and capable of helping them. If you are interested in becoming a firefighter, especially you females, I highly recommend knowing that what you do today matters, what you did yesterday matters. So if this is your career or any career that you want, be driven, be motivated, say no to things that don't add to your future, to your goals. You know, small sacrifices now, but it's gonna pay off. And to be able to say, this is my job. Like when you ask a firefighter, what's the best part? They'll say, this is the best job in the world. And I can absolutely tell you that it's true every single time. I am sitting in this chair along with over 100 other women in the Los Angeles Fire Department showing you that if you're willing to work, to be consistent, to be committed, it is possible. You can be a female firefighter for a living. To watch more videos like this, subscribe here.